Play to Potential podcast. Now, just uh, coming back to the sort of the bread and butter, uh, let's say, uh, themes for which HUL is known for uh, sales uh, marketing. Uh, and I'm in the context of the work I do, I'm curious about how that plays out uh, with individuals yeah. and personal brands. Yeah. Uh, give us a sense of uh, how some of the principles around marketing and branding yeah. uh, can be applied to leaders as as leaders go about their respective journeys. And, yeah. and as an observer, yeah. Of, of the world around you. What are some of the, uh, let's say, uh, I won't say funny things, but what are some of the uh, inefficiencies you see in the way sometimes uh, people think about personal brands? Yeah. So uh, DJ, I haven't actually, to be honest, thought deeply about personal brands, right? It's not an area that I have, uh, but let me tell you about brands and let, let, let's see if there are some parallels between brands and personal brands. One of the things that great brands have uh, is that people who love the brand and people who hate the brand must say the same thing about it. That is the mark of a true uh, outstanding brand. So you may not like the things that people who like it, people who hate it may not like the same things, but they say the same thing. So a brand, as I've written in the book, is... Give me an example here. Sorry, just, just for me to get a sense of what you're saying. So, you know, let's say, uh, uh, let's take a strong brand that I worked on. Let's say Lifebuoy. People who love it will say it's got the strong smell, which is really sort of... Uh, disinfectant and you know I love it it makes me feel really clean and hygienic and guys who hate it will say it's the strong smell and it's disinfectant and I you know I really feel like I'm in a hospital they'll align on the attribute they will align on the attribute so they will say the same things uh, about it but they may like it or they may not like it right so that's the characteristic of uh, of really really powerful it's a good way to judge uh, brands and I suspect that's the same about personal brands as well you cannot be different things to different people. That's the principle of branding. You have to be the same thing to everybody, whether they like you or not. And therefore, you know, you got to choose those few attributes or those few associations you want to own. Close your eyes, whether it's a personal brand or a real brand, you'll be able to identify people in three, four words. Uh, then they're strong brands. They have to be authentic. Uh, they have to be true also to their, you know, one of the things I do a lot when I do brand work, uh, DJ, is we do something called brand archaeology, which is go into the deep history, and many of our brands are very old, the deep history of the brand, the founder, and what was the vision with which it was founded, and what was that sort of birthing qualities of the brand? Because they tend to be the true qualities of brand that, you know, 70, 80, 100 years later, and you've got to kind of uh, rediscover it. Uh, and I think that's the truth about personal brands. I'm not an expert, as I tell you, but...